Here we're going to go over our triangle offense versus a 3-2 or 1-2-2 zone defense. And uh, this isn't the Lakers triangle offense, it's just what we call this offense against this type of zone. Now in a 3-2 or 1-2-2 zone defense, the defense is set up with a 3-guard top and two interior defenders around the low blocks. The strengths of a 3-2 zone are the perimeters around the top and the wings and around the low blocks. Weaknesses in a 3-2 zone are the bottom corners and the high post area. The way that we set up for our triangle offense is with a two-guard top, splitting the top defender. And on ball side, we have a high and low post on the elbow and low block. Our fifth player is positioned in the corner outside the three-point arc, forming the triangle with the high and low post. The triangle offense motion is initiated by swing pass from one top guard to the other. When the pass is made, three actions are triggered simultaneously. One, the high post moves to the opposite low post to set a screen. Two, the low post flashes to the opposite high post with hands ready for an entry pass. And three, the player in the corner runs along the baseline under the basket to the opposite corner. Once these three actions have taken place, the low screener should drop down to the low block, forming the triangle. Here's a look at the rotation as we swing the ball to the opposite side. Low post flashes to the opposite high post. High post moves to the opposite low block to screen and corner runs to the opposite corner. Finally, the low post screener moves to the low block, forming the triangle. It's important to understand how opposing teams may alter their 3-2 zone. Many teams like to extend their zone defense in order to trap a guard at the top. When a double team comes, most players' natural instinct is to make the swing pass to the opposite guard. In the triangle offense, you never want to make the swing pass from a high trap. So if you're running the triangle offense against an extended zone defense, when the double team comes, you want your guard to look to make a bounce pass to the high post. Another option against the extended zone is a pass to the corner. You want to remember that these positions aren't fixed and help should always come to the ball if their teammate is in trouble. With the defense still extending and attempting to trap up top, let's go over a few scoring options. If we're able to make the entry pass into the high post, our scoring options are 1. Shoot if we're open. 2. There's a high-low situation where a pass can be made over the top or around to the low post player. And 3. The kick out to the corner for a shot. Now our scoring options from the pass to the corner are 1. Take the shot if it's open. 2. A pass to the high post for a drive or elbow shot. And 3 the pass to the high post creating the same high-low situation. Whenever the ball is swung on top, the guard receiving the pass should look first to the flashing high post and then to the corner. When running the triangle offense, what we're looking for is the improper rotation of the defense. If the bottom defender rotates around the screen and out to defend the corner, the other bottom defender is left guarding both the high and low post players. This is the best scenario for the triangle offense. This improper rotation of the defense will force the wing defender to drop down in order to guard the high post. When this happens, the entry pass into the high post can be made. The high post should seal the defender from the pass with their body and the entry pass is made from the wing and away from the defender. Once the high post receives the ball, they should attack the basket as they should have a two-on-one situation. Let's look at a proper rotation of a 3-2 zone defense. Whenever the ball is in either corner, the top wing defender is responsible for rotating all the way over to the corner. With this proper rotation of the defense, it's much more difficult to make the entry pass into the high post. Even if we're able to get the ball into the high post, it's now a two-on-two -two situation instead of a two-on-one. The reason the triangle offense rotation is successful in forcing an improper rotation is the bottom screen and cut to the corner from underneath the basket. Once the ball is swung on top, the wing defender will be focused on the offensive player with the ball 
and unaware of the action behind them. The bottom screen set by the opposite high post tells the defense that something is happening on their side and they better get around the screen. Once the bottom defender rotates around the screener to cover the corner, the other bottom defender is forced to guard the undefended player closest to the basket. The ball is passed to the corner and the wing defender recognized the corner is already defended and drops down to guard the high post. The high post seals off their defender with their body, the high post entry pass is made away from the defender, and we have our two-on-one situation that we're looking for. Now let's review the triangle offense versus a 3-2 or 1-2-2 zone defense. We're going to look over the three rotations that happen once the ball is swung on the top. The triangle offense motion is initiated by swing pass from one top guard to the other. When the pass is made, three actions are triggered simultaneously. One, the high post moves to the opposite low post to set a screen. Two, the low post flashes to the opposite high post with hands ready for an entry pass. And three, the player in the corner runs along the baseline under the basket to the opposite corner. Once these three actions have taken place, the low screener should drop down to the low block, forming the triangle. 